no additional reports. Okay, we'll move on to agenda item 10. We've got Ms. Kelly Lentz with the library, and she is here to give us a presentation on Moody Air Force Base Library. I'm the director of the South Georgia Regional Library System. For those of you who may not know me, I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk with you about a project that is very important to our community. <clears throat> I'm proposing SGRL establish the Moody Air Force Base Library as a seventh branch. The Moody Air Force Base Library was closed on September 30th, 2013 due to a lack of funding. All services to the Moody Air Force Base community have ceased. The base plays a large role in our contributing to our national security, and the valuable missions and other work done at Moody contribute almost half a billion dollars to our local economy. Our community should continue to do all it can to show support for the service members and their families. Moody is willing to assist with much of the cost of operating the library. For example, Moody Air Force Base would provide um, access to an 8,000 square foot building. Also, we would be able to utilize the 45,000 volume collection as part of SGRL's catalog. They would provide space for library personnel, custodial and trash collection, maintenance cost, equipment updates, and they would allow library staff members access um, to the base. They would provide temporary ID cards. SGRL would be responsible for library operating oper operations, including administration, management, technical, and public services. The Moody Air Force Base Library was a well-loved and well-used institution. It would be a shame for Moody to lose the educational and recreational resources the library offered to our service members and their families. Currently, there are 5,000 active duty personnel on base, not including dependents, civilians, and contractors. Here are a few photos of the library I took when I recently toured it. The library building is in great condition and the library is spacious and welcoming. The facilities are ready to be open to the public Here's a, this is a photo of the children's area. This is a photo of the circulation desk. Currently, no items can be checked out or no reference questions can be answered. This is a quiet study room reading area, part of the library. Here is some demographic information about the base, including the number of dependent children living with both permanent assigned enlisted and assigned officer personnel. These are all people that are no longer being served by the library. And what will it cost? The SGRL system is requesting $69,146,000 to reopen the base library. The necessary funding is a fraction of the cost needed to build and equip a new library facility if we decided to build one. This is an excellent bargain considering all that Moody Air Force Base is willing to contribute towards this project. Here are a few common library misconceptions. Why do we need your help and why does the base need access to the library? Public libraries do receive some money from the state of Georgia, but it has been cut for the last several years. The majority of our funding comes from you, Lowndes County. The SGRL library does not retain the staff needed to reopen the base library. Libraries are well-used community gathering places where patrons have, of Georgia have access to a wide variety of educational services. 
And finally, in economic downturns, libraries become increasingly important and busier. But this is also when budgets are cut. At the South Georgia Regional Library, careful stewardship of public funds is very important to both the staff and board of trustees. We constantly work to streamline our operations and cut costs whenever possible. These next two slides represent the current financial realities of the South Georgia Regional Library system. We are constantly looking at ways to streamline operations yet again. This shows the total revenue that we receive from the county and other sources. This slide illustrates the expenditures of the system. In Lowndes County, um, we have no additional funds to contribute to the cost of running the Moody Air Force Base Library. Salaries and benefits remain the largest expenditure. Costs continue to increase because in fiscal year 2009, the employer portion of health insurance increased by 9.72% to around $475 per month per eligible employee. These costs will continue to increase to $943 by fiscal year 2015. This chart shows per capita state funding for materials and operating costs compared to the rising rate of inflation. As you can see, the state funds allocated to libraries are not keeping up with rising costs. If we do not receive additional funding, the Moody Air Force Base Library will remain closed. Funding to the Moody Air Force Base Library will allow SGRL to provide residents of Lowndes County with expanded services. As it stands now, the library that could be fully operational will remain closed to the public. Computer facilities, books, and a children's reading area are waiting to be reopened. This is a picture showing that there's a sign, no checkout services available. Military personnel do not have access to all of these study guides that they use to prepare for tests they must take to receive promotions and certifications. If servicemen and women want to continue their education, they have no way to check out the needed preparation books. The demand for library services have continued to increase. If you have not visited one of our libraries in recent years, you may think of the library as only a quiet place to study and check out books. You might be surprised by how much libraries have changed. SGRL system has more than 55,000 registered borrowers. Over 122,000 people visited the library system in 2013. Also, over 300,000 items were circulated last year. We offer many diverse educational programs for both children, teens, and adults. Your library card is now a lot more powerful. In 2006, the library system joined PINES, the Public Information Network for Electronic Services. If the Moody Air Force Base Library becomes a part of SGRL, <coughs> its users will now have access to over 9.6 million books and other materials that can be delivered to their home library free of charge. The library helps people learn to read by providing books, story times, and other programs designed to improve early childhood literacy. In 2012, story times were attended by more than 36,000 children and their caregivers in the system. Thank you for having me today. I really appreciate everyone listening to my presentation. Please consider the library's request carefully. With your help, the Lowndes County Library will receive an additional library branch without the cost of a building, materials, maintenance, utilities, and computers. This would be an excellent investment and a cost-effective way to provide people living in Lowndes County with important library services. And finally, does anyone have any questions for me?
Kelly, I do. I just, <coughs> um, is the is that location closed, or is it just not available for people to check things out? It's um, the building is not staff. It is technically closed. However, they keep it open. It is a part of an education system where colleges have um, classes. It's a part of that building, so people are still allowed to go in the library and sit, but they are not allowed to check out anything or use the computers. Have you spoken with the Air Force about the possibility of them helping us with maintenance on the facility? Um, they are going to provide maintenance. Um, trash collection, utilities, maintenance. Repairs. Repairs, all of that will be covered by the Air Force Base. I think they're doing everything other than staff. Right. Yeah. Uh, this is an initiative that developed out of the P4 initiative that Moody out there, actually the Air Force has, there's 30 bases in the United States that was chosen to look at ways that the community can work better with our military installations and uh, that was a need for back during sequestration when funding was, was uh, cut, they didn't have the monies to operate the library, the need is there. I had a question. Um, sure. I, I realize there are differences between federal government and local governments. Mm -hmm. um, and I also realize the challenges uh, we face uh, with providing funding for our current library system. Right. Um, I, I want you to know what all taxpayers, uh, citizens in Lyons County, have access to the base to be able to utilize that library, for one. No, this would be a unique project, um, the first project of this kind in Georgia, and the State Library is very excited about it. The Board of Regents of the University of Georgia system are very excited. This would be a unique undertaking, and the only people who would be able to access this are the Lowndes County citizens who are um, veterans, who civilian citizens who work on base and their families and military personnel and their families. And that is a large section of Lowndes County that would otherwise not have convenient access to a library. The closest branch is the main branch for the people who live on the base, correct? Correct. Or live out in that direction. Right. I guess um, what would be, um, say, say if we were to just give the base $70,000, could they operate it themselves? Um, no, they could not. Um, we would be responsible for um, hiring staff and maintaining and cataloging the collection. Yeah, quick. Kelly, I have one quick question. Thank you for your leadership and passion for the libraries. Um, Thank what's, you. What's your time frame? Um, well, of course, um, we've been working with Moody and um, going ahead and, and looking into cataloging everything into the Pine system. But our time frame would be, um, of course, probably the beginning of the fiscal year, July, early July. Okay. That's what we're looking at right now. Okay. That's why I was trying to determine if, if this was like an immediate go ahead, can't wait, or well, but, something we need to be working toward for budget purposes. Well, we would like to know, I mean, as soon as we could, um, there's certain things that we need to do that we can't really move forward with until we know if we're going to receive the funding or not. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you all very much. Thank you.